Harriet Tubman once said, Every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. My name is Haley Comer, and I am here to talk to you today about the quality of passion. Passion is one of the most important qualities you can have in a leader. Nothing can take the place of passion in a leader's life. The purpose of this topic is to talk to the audience about why passion is in such an important quality to have as a leader. According to Maxwell, passion is described by four truths. Passion is the first step, step to achievement, it increases your willpower, it changes you, and lastly, it makes the impossible possible. In order to be successful, you must be passionate about you, what you want to accomplish. You can't give up after the first time something doesn't go as planned. As a leader, how are you going to lead something or someone on an item you don't even care about? If you follow your passion instead of doing what others want you to do, you will become not only more dedicated in what you do, but also more productive. It is often said that the leader with great passion and few skills always outperforms a leader with great skills and no passion. Walt Disney is a great example of a passionate leader. He spent most of his childhood drawing. However, before he came up with the drawing of Mickey Mouse in 1928, he had many unsuccessful animation companies decline his drawings. This shows how you can be successful while pursuing your dreams. He never gave up, he took those no's and he turned them into yeses. And now, almost 75 years later and long after his passing, we are still carrying on his, le his legacy. Leaders must have the quality of passion in order to become an effective leader. If you are passionate about a specific topic or subject, it will help others who are around you to learn from you. And it is so easy to find passion in anything you do, and it is never too late to start being passionate. Like Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it. I try to implement this quality in my everyday life by not giving up when things may not go my way. Once I set my mind to what I want to achieve, I keep going until I get the results I wanted in the first place. When I was in sixth grade, I broke my left foot while at dance. This was extremely hard for me because it happened in October and our performance of The Nutcracker was in December, in which I held several lead parts in. I had to give up all of my parts as well as skip the first competition of the year. However, I never gave up. I continued to go to practice every week, even when I was wobbling in. I went to each performance of the Nutcracker, and I even traveled to Orlando, Florida for our very first competition, knowing I wasn't going to be able to get to compete in it. However, this made me come out even stronger and showed me how passionate I was about the art of dance. Looking back, I'm glad on the outcome because I do not think I would have been as passionate, passionate about dance as I was after this accident. Passion can be found when you associate yourself with the right people. I'm sure you've heard the saying, birds of a feather flock together. If you surround yourself with the right people, you can easily gain your passion for something if you have lost it or even if you need help gaining your passion. Connecting with what you love is another way to demonstrate passion. You can easily practice this by learning from your past mistakes or looking back on what you would spend hours doing before you got caught up doing other things. If you have lost your passion, it may be time to go back to a job, hobby, or whatever it may be that you would spend hours doing because you love so much. In conclusion, I believe that in order to be successful in exemplifying passion, you need to find out what your one true love is first. As a leader, once you find that one thing you're passionate about, you'll be able to influence those around you who may need more passion in their life. Just remember, it is never too early or too late to start exemplifying what you're passionate about. Donald Trump once said, Without passion, you don't have energy. Without energy, you have nothing. Nothing great in this world has been accomplished without passion. Do not lose that energy. Go out today and find the one or maybe even two things you are passionate about.